Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our fourth season of Chemcon TV's News Bulletin. With CCTV we can share news and information from Chemcon the Americas 2016 in Toronto with you. Also in this series of CCTV's News Bulletins you can expect Interviews with authority and industry experts Today we have an excellent start with an interview on the topic in the USA, the modernized Tosca. As of tomorrow, several questions and answers from panel discussions Every day a statement of the day and a forecast for the day and as always a local reporter with informative stories this time of course on Canada and Toronto. Without doubt the best local reporter we could wish for is someone that recently retired. Someone that has been a Canadian ambassador at Chemcom since the start of this millennium. The one and only Karen Levens. Karen, what a pleasure to have you with us this week. Cheers! Thank you for inviting me to be your local reporter. I'm thrilled that Chemcon chose Toronto, Canada as the location for its Chemcon the Americas 2016. Karen, where are you? I'm at the CN Tower, otherwise known as Canada's National Tower. And what are you doing at the CN Tower? I'm on edge with excitement, Cheers, to share the beauty of the city. It's incredible. The views are just indescribable. The CN Tower is a freestanding structure that is about 350 meters or 1200 feet tall. When it was completed in 1973, it was the tallest freestanding structure in the world and a few years later was designated as one of the seven wonders of the modern world, according to the American Society of Civil Engineers. Behind me you can see the city of Toronto and where I'm looking out I can see the lake into the distance, I can see parts of the United States, and in fact, the weather is so fantastic that it feels like I can look out forever. Now surely you're a boasting. The thin air way up there at 350 meters seems to make you delirious. You probably even think you can see China. China? I don't think so. But certainly there's a Chinatown on the other side, as well as many other multicultural neighborhoods. In fact, Toronto is the most multicultural city in the world, with more than 250 different nationalities living here. And in fact, 50% of the population is born outside of Canada. We're very proud of the diversity here, and on behalf of all Canadians, welcome to Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Beautiful. Thanks, Karen. Yes, you have shown Canadian pride at many camp cons. Thank you for these spectacular views. Enjoy the rest of your edge walk and be careful, don't fall off, we need you for the rest of the week. And in the meantime, we will focus at the USA. I had an interview on Tosca modernization with Jeff Morris and Sean Glancy. Currently, Republicans and Democrats are opponents in the presidential elections three weeks from now. In such a turbulent time, you might forget that many times Democrats and Republicans work together. They share drinks and ideas, among others, on the future of the chemical control legislation in the USA. This resulted in a long-awaited and very special act, the Frank R. Lautenberg Chemical Safety for the 21st Century Act. This act amends the primary chemicals management law of the USA, the Toxic Substances Control Act. I am honored to discuss this important modernization of Tosca and its impact on industry with Jeff Morris of USEPA and Sean Clancy of Evonik. And what are the main game changers of the uh, new act? Well, there are several. I mean, the first is that the EPA now has a duty to uh, review and evaluate existing chemicals. Um, while we always had the ability to do so, we didn't have the, the actual requirement that we do so. That's one. The second is that for new chemical substances, we must make an affirmative determination as to whether or not the chemical substance may present or does present or is not likely to present risks to humans and the environment. And then I think that finally there are some important provisions for the substantiation of confidential business information that are outlined. Um, so those three things I think are, are three, um, three big game changers in the amend to Tosca. Develop the final risk evaluation which is something different from the risk assessments we had done previously because a risk evaluation per the statute must include a determination as to whether or not the chemical poses unreasonable risk. Um, risk assessments typically just stop short of any determination and left that to the, the policy makers 
Um, but now the policymakers and the assessors will have to work together to come up with a risk determination that can only be based on, on risk considerations and not consider other non-risk factors. The Toxic Substance Control Act didn't have a very convenient name. Um, but as people got to know it, they also didn't understand how it worked, so they uh, had a high level of confidence. So uh, I think there's a number of benefits that Jeff has mentioned that are, are game changers in the law. One thing I think is a, an important game changer is having a name that people can recognize pertains to chemical safety. The complete interview can be viewed at our website and YouTube channel. And for those here in the hotel at channel 76, or just press the CCTV button in our Camp Connect app. Which brings me to the statement of the day. Also this CAMCON, we use our Camp Connect app that allows us to share news with you and allows you to engage in interactive polls. And you can use it for coming together because CAMCON is a networking event. Regarding the statements, sometimes it's an actual statement and sometimes it's a more trivial question, like this example. You're probably aware that we're celebrating our 20th anniversary and this edition of CAMCON The Americas is our 5th anniversary in the Americas. But which year was the first CAMCON The Americas? 2006? 2007 or 2008. With us in the CCTV studio for our first statement of the day, Ms. Wendy Brand of Walmart. Welcome. Thank you. Wendy, do you know in which year the first Camp on the Americas was held? I believe it was here in Canada as well, in Montreal in 2007. Very good. Um, I know Walmart is very proactive in increasing the transparency within your supply chain. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Sure. First of all, thank you very much for having me here to speak to your attendees. So as the world's largest retailer, Walmart does have a global supply chain. And this is a great opportunity in order to um, look at our challenges and the information that we need to manage just one particular compliance aspect of our business and how it relates to the importance of transparency in the supply chain. So hazardous waste regulations were not developed with consumer products in mind, and with the increased enforcement focus on retail in the U.S., it has put retailers in a very tough spot. So we've developed a, a unique compliance solution in order to manage waste consumer products that we don't manufacture, but allow the manufacturers to keep their trade secrets secret. Very good. Great initiative. And your statement is? My statement of the day is supply chain transparency is critical to meet both increasing compliance obligations and expanding customer expectations. Thank you for your statement. Uh, before we finalize with today's forecast, first check on our local reporter as she landed on her feet again. Thanks. What an exciting experience. Your delegates should really give this Edgewalk a try while they're here in Toronto. Or if they're not so brave to go outside, at this height, there are some magnificent views from inside the glass enclosed observation deck that includes a glass floor. Speaking of glass, I'm currently coming down in one of the glass elevators at the CN Tower. I'm glad I didn't have to take the 1700 stairs. This is a real Toronto treasure that I recommend you try. This morning we will start with a workshop on the Canadian Chemicals Management Plan, followed by an overview and interpretation of the modernized U.S. Toxic Substances Control Act, as well as its implementation expectations. And in the afternoon, a seminar on global supply chain transparency and stakeholders. Thank you for watching and enjoy tonight's welcome reception.